Mm -hmm. Assuming this actually goes live. Oh, hey, there it is. And this stuff, it's really slow when you're doing it the way I do it and watch it through a uh, laptop. <coughs> Give me a second. Uh, if anybody's actually already watching, I apologize. I'm going to set up a handy mute button for myself. Should be. And we are going to screenshot that real quick. Maybe. It's my screenshot button. There it is. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry if that's coming through. These are shoes of the goofiest enemy I've seen in a game in a long time. That gear opens these two blocks up. Also, bet you I have to jump as soon as it does so. <clears throat> ah, that was something special. How do I do this? That's not poison lava. That's normal lava. So all this time I've been thinking that's the insta-kill lava. <clears throat> and there's my chain whip. that, or whatever 
deity, believe it or not, whatever. I'm just happy to have a. Uh, uh. We're just gonna do this right now. Yeah, I was under the impression that was, um... I was always under the impression that was the poison lava that's in, uh... The poison lava that's in Ice Fire? Whatever the- god. That's such a dumb name. <laughs> I fire a tree top. And yeah, that wheel leads back over to uh, Ice Fire. Which is where I was getting the idea that this place loops funny, because Ice Fire should be higher up, not lower. So I think it loops like a tube side, laid on the side rather than up and down like the Wild Milana did. So we got the chain whip, that's a nice bit of progress at least. Especially because that means I can actually do some respectable damage again. Also think it's kind of interesting that that's that. It's got a nice meaty sound to it. I wonder where the mace whip is. Why am I doing this the dangerous way? Yeah, we don't want to go there yet either. Uh, let's go to the top side of... Yeah, see, this has got a loop downward because you go up to get to Ice Fire and you can go down to get to the area that you go down to to get to where we were just were. I have never noticed that that was there. Aw oh, man, all that wasted time doing that the long way. Oh wow, that chain whip does a considerably higher amount of damage. Dangerous group back around. Yeah, the uh, jumping enemies take two whip shots and three or four shurikens. It's, if I remember right, the, well, I think in one it was double damage. It was either two damage and four damage or two damage and five damage. So I think we're out of ideas. Let's go to Valhalla here. Oh, that is 
so much more. You would not believe how, like, just having the extra damage as a quality of life thing. Should actually. Nope, I'm gonna stack, stack taking damage. Game, please. So we need to find out where the true king sits, is what it comes down to. So Valhalla, we need to find... There's nothing creepy in here anymore, we ate that. We need to find... oh, that was good. Where the missing throne is, because one of these thrones you're supposed to be able to sit on. And spikes, because I wasn't thinking about it. I knew there were spikes down there too, that's the dumb part. And I bet you that's the throne there. Oh, wait. I've got the, uh... I've got the seal for it. That's the seal I've been looking for. Alright, so we're gonna go heal and go fight a mini-boss, because I'm gonna die to it repeatedly. Uh, no, the chain whip can't. Um, the big, the biggest difference between the whip and the chain whip is that the chain whip just does a considerably um, higher amount of damage. Which, when you're talking this game, being able to kill something quicker is definitely a uh, lifesaver. Literally, unless you're counting the guy I'm killing. I mean, to be fair, I am effectively just swinging a uh, tow cable at people right now. It's amazing when I'm taking a break from this game and coming back to it with like a fresh mindset will do for you. That! Damn it, that! So the real question becomes, how do I... get the air I need for that? So I need double jump. 
That's ultimately what it's kind of coming down to, is that I'm just, I don't have double jump for some of these puzzles. There's no way to get the height to release that, and that'll release this pillar. You know what? There is a tablet... So there's a secret hidden inside of this rock. There's a tablet that flat out says it. The trick... Oops. Okay. It was worth a shot. Nope, nope. That didn't work. Alright. I mean, the tablet might be screwing with me. Uh, it's Lava Lana, but... They said there was something hidden inside the rock. So we actually do want to knock it over. Falls too quick for you to do that. We can't use sub weapons on it. Actually, we got new sub weapons. Maybe we can. I didn't let you do it with shurikens, but. Honestly, if I die this time, I'll wait until I get the. Uh, Until I get the uh, lamp of time, which will let me just bypass that. You hit it five times um, and run to the ladder and climb up it, and then it breaks after the timer runs out. So for it actually worked this time. Huh, last time I tried this, it didn't go through. Pyramid Crystal. <clears throat> Does it mean anything to you, dude? Anything? No? Alright. Yeah, it shouldn't have reset anyway, either way there was them. At least I didn't think it would. Uh, considering the tone of the game, it's probably a key to something. Gate with a curtain or it? Uh, yeah, that's whatever, that's just telling me, hey, go. Go find the glowing doors. You know, the one that's right here, literally. I don't know, maybe it was that I left the level instead of just uh, teleporting back to the roots of Yggdrasil. Also may have been that I died the last time and didn't catch it right, or I waited didn't wait long enough for it to register or whatever, I don't know.
It's going to drive me nuts trying to remember where I can buy spears at, though. I think it's the Eternal Battlefield, Immortal Battlefield, but... Oh, it's that door right there! Hey. Oh, that kills him quicker than the dagger does. That's kind of sad. It's not up there, because I could... She stands up right before she jumps off of something. That's interesting. That chest wasn't open before. So we did something to open that up. Supposed to be elf. So we have that's expansion greens. What is earth? Alright, so that's not actually giving me a clue to anything. I think I need the ability to chant before I can complete this puzzle over here. It also kind of reminds me of uh, Enter the Gungeon. It's first. Damn it. Uh, the first level of Enter the Gungeon, which is uh, Red Lord's Keep. It has kind of a similar tone to this song. I know video game music do well. Alright, so... There's no reason for me to come this way from this way, because I can't... There's something down below that lets you climb up into that same tube, but it doesn't actually do anything. If I remember right, there's another- yeah, we already tried that. Well, I tried it anyway. About the closed eye, which one are you talking about? You know what? I bet you I know what we need to get. I bet you I know what program it is. Was it. Anwin? No, it was. It wasn't Divine Fortress. Was it a word of Battlefield? I think it was backside, uh, Immortal Battlefield. Was it in the Rootsy Yggdrasil? Zero? I probably just missed it, not looking.
wonder. Um, well, the sarcophagus I had. Divine Fortress. I opened it up and I couldn't buy the uh, ROM that I needed. Maybe it was Divine Fortress I opened it up in and not uh, Battlefield. Yep, it was, because it's right here. Nope, that's not the same app that I was thinking it was, but we're probably going to need it, so might as well grab it now. Ah, that does give me something useful, though. So we want... Yeah, we'll come here. So I think that's right next to where I wanted to be. Trying to remember if I wanted to go through uh, Mortal Battlefield and loop around or just do this. Ah, oh, it is so nice being able to just insta kill things. Caution, traces of poison, thank you. It's supposed to tell me on the pause screen. Caution, traces of poison. Is that really it? I kind of expected to do more there. Alright, well, that app's kind of worthless, actually. Because poison kills are too quick for it to matter anyway. I thought it would give you a clue on how to clear it. Well, that was a waste of 80 gold. Dear Garm, please stop. Danger, magma. Hey! So it warns me when I'm doing something stupid, which inevitably leads to death in this game anyway, so... I doubt they're going to make it farm a thousand gold for... Couch trip ammo if I ever used it for anything other than dumb gimmick bosses. I say that, and I think I've used Couch trips as much as I've used the Earth Spear to beat bosses, so maybe I shouldn't talk too much crap.
What does this one... How do you open this one? Oh! Um... The squirrel stole my uh, jewel. I guess that explains how you open that one. It's so much gold, man. There's nothing over there. Going up isn't going to do me anything right now. Oops. That was a controller failure. Probably shouldn't try playing with the stick when I'm kind of bored. Alright. Oh. I have not been up here in a little while. So. I think I've read that skeleton, because you and I, well, all of us know that that's a booby trap. I'm not gonna commit suicide just to read something piety. Which, considering that a lot of these are backer ones, I, I don't even know if I'd go as far as to say piety, but... bottomless pit to the right of it. You know what? I actually want that. <laughs> I ain't running out of things again. That was all skill and not me just blind jump again. I promise. too low to do it. So I think that's the one I need to be jumping into. We're gonna try a sequence break, just because I... this game's already let me sequence break a few times. Nope, it's like I'm not high enough. So that's a uh, lantern of time respawn point or refill points.
Which is honestly a mechanic I wish they hadn't have brought back. Because it meant that if you screwed up puzzles requiring the, uh... If you screwed up puzzles requiring the lamp of time, you had to go and find one again, and usually they're not anywhere resembling convenient places. Also, just testing something out, because somebody mentioned it. I was talking to him about it. And can you guys still hear me? Alright, so my quick, uh, my hotbound mute button doesn't work. Which is a good thing to know. Hey, wait, this guy's moved. I was talking about it earlier, there's the shoot 'em up boss or something that looks similar to him. That's what I was looking for. Let's see if they were right. Yes they were, there is an Ogjul here. What is a CODIS? Oh, that's actually useful too, damn it. I see that cartridge up there, game. I think I don't. Kind of dickish putting something here and uh, something that important in the ruins of Lama Lana. And not El, uh, El Magi or whatever the hell this place is called. It's kind of weird that they retranslated some of these names too. Um, this one right here in the first game was FUT, and it was kind of a joke because you put a pedestal on his foot, and that uh, opened up the life onk. these was the boss. Uh, I think it's this guy, which means that that statue should be destroyed. Because this one pointed to a boss, uh, to a teleport point, and this one, yeah, it would have been this one. Because the boss fight arena was right here, you had a ladder that went up and he had to use it to dodge the ceiling collapsing. And he would fire his fist at you. Um...
he would fire his fist at you and it would do, uh, leave a chain behind for you to run out, up and smack him in the head until you broke his mask. And then you revealed the horrific skeleton visage beneath it and you had to, you know, be into that that way. And she's saying she's just gonna fuck off, so there's nothing new there. Yeah, that's actually my favorite boss fight in that game, or at the very least the boss music is one of my favorites. Boss fight wise, it's a pretty fun fight too though. It's nothing too complex, but it's also just mechanically interesting to do. Oh, thanks Amaranta. Basically he's just telling me what I already just resolved. Uh, that boss was different in the original. Um, in the remake, he was a much more fun boss. Also, Deceased Crab had a problem with a lot of that game. And that's not me making a commentary joke, even though that's the easy low-hanging fruit. Fire bad. That's kind of a cool enemy design. I like that. Because you see their face. Alright, well, she's gone. They flip upside down when they're actually lunging at you, and they've got a face on under their hair, too. It's that right kind of freaky weird. So we don't need to come up here again. Which means I went and maimed myself for, you know, swinging lava for no reason other than sheer incompetence. What, the warning lava every time I fell back into it? Playing, uh, it's like playing Rainbow Six with a couple of goons, or at least one of the goons I know. I think they killed me. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, thanks, dude. We can read the loadout. All right. So where can we go? We don't need to go left at all. We don't need to go up right now. I know that there's a hot spring somewhere in here that I need to get to. I just need to figure out how to actually get to it. I honestly wonder if I shouldn't come now. <clears throat> wow, that kills him so much quicker, it's not even funny. The jar over there is also kind of weird me out. Why is that jar there? Bet you we can double jump, cling to the wall, and jump over to it and get, uh... Probably just gold. Alright, we will teleport... Oh! Can you only save one totem point at a time?
I think that's interesting. Wait, really? I've never read that one? I swear I've read that one multiple times. Danger flammable gas. You shit me. So we know where to go now, at least. So I think you can only have one totem point at a time, so I need to remember that in case I don't want to burn a totem point away. Javelins. Are you a store? There, I, I think I say that every time I walk in there. See, there's that I was talking about where I saw the uh, thing earlier. Oh, 
No, no, no! Probably take more damage just trying to be clever. Yeah, no comment. That was just. I feel like that fight's supposed to be a little bit harder. <laughs> I'm gonna record that one, just that seems almost vaguely useful. Danger, flammable gas.
Okay, so there's supposed to be a secret in here. You know what? I think I took a screen... Oh, not a screenshot, but... There was a... comment about... a bird statue. I just don't remember... So I think that's the hot spring that I need, because that's what that put, uh, uh, the, the. Sing bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. I think I've almost done one side for that. Question is, is that a useful skeleton or is that a backer skeleton? That's raw. Ah, I'm not gonna try. All right. Another crystal skull, but nothing to really use it with. Play around in the Divine Fortress for a bit. I need to figure out what makes the dwarves stop yelling at me. Because they've probably got the anchor I need to get through a lot of that water.
And up here is the Hoogan, yep. Me being bad at the game at least saved me some time later. on my quest to figure out who sells uh, the Earth Spears. Also, you know, I actually figure out where I'm supposed to be going to, but that's tertiary at this point, right? Is this Lava Lana? Hey guys, uh, the mother may have created a clone of herself in case something happened to her body. Why is it active now? Well, Lameza may or may not have shot her, so, I mean... Uh, it's the thing that plays a tone, it's the program that plays a tone if there's a secret room, or a secret, uh, secret store in the room. Set up to the side now. Let's see if the old dude up here has anything to say. Worth a shot. I'm up here, might as well try them. Oh, I figured out. Okay. Is that actually a literal gun pin? Because that's kind of funny.
There's a boss up here, wasn't there? There was a boss up here. Bet you with the whip not being... Yep, this is so much easier than it was last night. <laughs> I think it took like six whips to knock him out of the air last time. Good thing there's no fall damage in this game. It looks like the psycho robot from Futurama, and I can't unsee it. Good, I'm not the only one that can't see the Saga Robot after a glimpse. Also, morning. Morning. I was trying to get Selena in here too, but... What did I just open up? I unscrewed something. Oh, so did you get the chain web finally? Yeah, it turns out that wasn't, um... Oh, hey, neat. Turns out that wasn't, uh, poison lava, like I thought it was. So eh. you could've just tanked it. Was it all just a illusion? No, I could have distinct it. What the hell is hitting me up there? Is it the chain? It's the eyeball, the glowy blue eyeball. Yeah, no, no shit. I meant like what? Like it's hit. The glowing eyeball just protects. Uh... The glowing eyeball just protects. A the ruins from, like, desecration and things like that, so basically don't smack sacred objects. I didn't think the game would classify the chain as a sacred object, which is what I... it's either the chain or the enemy. Surely it can't be the enemy. Unless it's like Temple of the Moon, where if you're inside the, uh, goddess's, uh... the central area, the goddess of the, uh, Temple of the Goddess, then... I mean, it only seemed to happen when you actually jumped, so, I don't know. And so, it seems to suggest that it might be the entire screw that, screw that take it when you jump. And land on it. No, it was because I was attacking it when it was happening. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's that entire area, not just the screw itself. I mean, when you stood next to the screw, you didn't get chopped. That's what I'm saying. I... That's interesting. So the Pache key last time... 
um, was used for the boss Plonk. Which... Is that the Canadian's vehicle? Yeah. He used it for uh, to activate the boss fight after he got the model airplane. These Yeti enemies are really annoying. I don't like them. Alright. I can't imagine. Go away, wizard thing. Yes, having the uh, chain whip has helped considerably. Those witches last night that took like six hits each took like three. Tempted to almost say, uh, almost tempted to say two. I wasn't paying attention fully. I think it was three. I don't really count my hits that often except for. Uh... That's why I need all I. Sniper critters. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look up what the hell that thing is. I'm actually kind of curious why I'm being attacked attacked by a weird. What do you mean the boomerang gecko? No, this thing. Not a sheep, but a cow monster. Apparently that's supposed to be a cow. I mean, according to a quick little Google, supposedly they're meant to be cows with fins for hands and hooves. Well, just hooves, because birds. Alright, this feels like this is just a waste of my, uh... It's probably just a waste of weights, but just in case... Oh! Actually, totally wasn't a waste of... Damn. And she's got a different weapon than her dad now. Is this supposed to be the Keyblade? I mean, you still swing it like a whip. No, she lashes out with it. In... Model on a one, you had the katana, which swung under you, which made it kind of a unique weapon. Um, and you had the keyblade, which was a piece of junk, but you used it. Well, that's not fair. Uh, come on, no, no. Yeah, infinite attacking enemies in this game is driving me up a wall slowly. Oh, do you mean you don't like him just constantly fighting without boss? Yeah. Alright. But anyway, so you get... Aim. So, you had the Keyblade, which, without cartridges, was kind of useless outside of being used for a key. There was a couple of neat gimmick uses of it, because it actually was a pixel long, like, one or two pixels longer than your, uh, sword was. So you could use it to attack things you weren't supposed to, and makes uh, it made one mini-boss easier, if I remember right. But its damage was super terrible, so... I mean, that does seem to be made more for invading Disney worlds. Keyblade? It's got a swastika on it. Yes, I know it's not actually a swastika. I mean, Disney has their own history. Just a different place in the Disney world you're exploring. There's an interesting swing pattern on that. I think this does have a longer reach than the whip, which honestly, you know, doesn't make any damn sense, but... Uh, at least you've got the pop-up bandy right here. Yeah. 
I mean, if you're not using it for stabbing anyway. I think I'm gonna stick with the chain. What the hell am I looking at? I don't have enough for the ferry yet. Um. Oh, good evening, though. Okay, these Yetis are quickly becoming my least favorite enemy in the game. I wonder if they got something... I'm noticing that this is actually useful information sometimes. Not here, apparently, but... There's been a few times where there's actually kind of useful information in there, so... You mean like the Zoya? Yeah. So we know where one of the fairies is. Those are really weird chain design on this. What where it keeps rotating and flipping. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it says fill the Wait. Ah, ah, damn it. It said fill the screw again or something like that. See, and that sword up there is interesting. I want to know... It honestly feels like there's more to this room than I... than just what we already did. I'm gonna go take one more look at that, just in case. Fill the hollowed pillar once again. I don't think there's anything else. I think it's a different pillar than what we've been looking at there. Oh, I have not screenshotted this one yet. Let's grab that one. So I think for this one, I think we're going to run into a room that wants you to fill in all of those. Because there's multiple places where that's there. The Queen of Demons, Morgan.
Uh, Tiata is going to be main the Psycho Bomb with Morion. Uh, sure. It's probably referring to something. Uh, well, uh, clearly it's referring to something. Was it Morgan a fairy? Like a seed? See? She? Whatever, the dark fairies. Something of sorts of The unsealed court. Unsealed court, whatever. Fuck. I don't pretend to me. I don't pretend I couldn't speak a single word of uh, Celtic and. No Morgan, no Morgan, also known as Morgan, who is a figure from Irish mythology. Has been translated as the Great Queen, Phantom Queen, or Queen of Phantoms. And she's usually apparently a crow that plays the whole of a Valkyrie in Ireland. Time to get people to fight. Interesting. Like, not being sarcastic together, that is actually kind of an inner. And even though she tries to incite battle, she is also be seen she is also seen as an earth and sovereignty goddess chiefly representing the goddess as well as guardian of the territory and its people. This game is ice physics are a pain in the ass. Uh, Morgan is, of, is often described as a tie of individuals, all sisters called the Pre Morgan Wagner. Membership of the Triad Fairy, sometimes it's given to Badba, Macha, and the main, while elsewhere it is given to Baza, Macha, and Anand. Yeah, the unsealed court, I gotcha. And apparently she's associated with the Banshee of late folklore. Uh, you know what? Let's jump down here. Maybe there is something down here for me to play with. So one shot him now. Alright, I think we are done with the Shrine of the Frost Giant for now. I don't know anywhere else I can go in there. We got the Polunk key though, which... Uh... I don't think that's gonna do anything useful for me. Is this Mulberg's place again? Yep. I actually don't know what Mulberg does. She might be necessary to unlock crap and, um... I mean, for all we know, she's just there being a poor drinky. No, that's what she was in the first game. She spent most of the game asleep and then... You hit end game and start breaking shit and it's like, oh, hey! So I need a dinosaur figure for those doors. I want to know what that...
So apparently these guys are supposed to be lizards, by the way. I would not have guessed them as lizards. Honestly, I thought they were just holding or wearing a mask. And if not that, maybe snapping turtles. Yeah, I wasn't honestly sure what they were supposed to be, but... The more you know, Team Double. Flare, don't care. Yeah, this game's got that. Um, you can see the ammo to buy it, but you can't actually buy it yet. It takes eight hits with a chain whip to kill those things. That is. That is the thing. Yeah, that looks like the poison lava from um, Ice Fire, but it's it's not. Which kind of frustrated me a little bit. Especially since it stopped you from just doing the puzzle all that time. I mean, in hindsight, it's slightly the wrong shade of purple, but... That is a shortcut back at top now. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what? I've got enough gold. We're actually gonna go back topside again. I really wish I could figure out where double jump was, because that's really the next big Let's open up everything in the game things. Yeah, the uh, fr the frozen women thing, whatever they're actually called, they're uh, aggravating too because you can't hurt them until they attack. So I'm not fully sure how you're supposed to kill them without being hurt by them unless you're below them. I'll take that. So the reason for that is some of these bosses are invulnerable until you do damage to them, which is why I was having a hard time fighting them sometimes. Hmm. That does sound a bit contradictory, but yeah. But the Zoria was to suggest such a mechanic. I 
I'd like to know why it just suddenly gets blood splattered in here. Wait a minute. You can push those blocks. I mean, can you try to drop them on them? I think that's what you need to do. So that's what we're gonna but go try. Question is just how do you avoid the spears? Do you need to jump between the platforms while he is out at the other edge? Yeah, that that feels like a really rough boss fight in general. I stand by what I said though, I honestly think the uh mini bosses are harder than the actual bosses. And then she just beast out. <laughs> what did you do? Good job. Just good job. I may need to clip this. I can't even get me out about that. I was just, I was like, I gotta get the ladder, gotta get the ladder, gotta get the ladder, and squished. Oh, oops. <laughs> you know, I wonder if this bot. I wonder if this tube being blood splattered now it means that I can actually kill the boss. Excuse me, you're in the way. Thank you. Alright, you know what? That wasn't that bad a boss fight. Now, once you figure out the gimmick to it. At least they die just about as quick to blocks as you do. Eh, well. We are gonna do one thing real quick though, because I screwed that up. Let's see if I can reset that. If not, I'll redo the boss fight, because it's not like it's that hard. 
The trick of that boss fight is just not dying before you get there. <laughs> Oh! The tube of blood changed. So it means it probably doesn't go back to uh, Valhalla anymore. Thanks, Mulbrook. I can't... Uh, uh, Alright, whatever. Alright, that didn't do anything. Anunnaki, Lord Anu, Anzu. Once again, in the ever-expanding, hey, did you ever wonder why uh, I rarely stick around after... After you take or something. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm stuck in there now, so that's my home. That's a little annoying. But that seems like a senseless trap. I'm more interested in the fact that that didn't seem to do anything. So yeah, that boss, you can whip him in the head. But I don't know if that does damage. And those blocks honestly look too big to be pushed, so it never occurred to me even try. from Valhalla to here, if we go back in, the tube is different. I, uh... Well then, this looks like a pleasant place to be in. This... I really need to like play the original with you guys at some point. Because this looks very, very reminiscent of the Tower of the Mother. I'd be curious to see the original. What you know, wish for you, know, you wish for exiles precisely because there's nothing, it is that which you're not going to see by the impatient. We're going to save that one. It's basically just, hold your horses, stupid. I was hoping to look at the red eye, because I don't remember, I don't know what triggers the red. I 
Um, I don't know what triggers the red eyes. I want to know... I wish people knew how to open these costume chests. I'm kind of curious to see what the costumes are. Well, it doesn't shock you when I smack it. We've got illusion gate mechanics over here, too. I wonder. So you need keys, so there's no puzzle on this one. Alright, so that was fascinating, but not useful. Maybe it fills with blood after you've beaten the boss of the area? I don't know. Mammon, why does that name sound familiar? Is that one of the angels? Let's see what it says. So that's a giant spider in the background, by the way. Oh, or a crab. I swear to God, if that's a deceased crab reference, I'm... I'm out. Wrong kind. He's, um... He's actually a really early Let's Player. Uh, once you... He's not terrible by any stretch of the map or what it means or anything like that. It's just he had this weird uh, habit of he had this weird habit of insisting on using um, catchphrases, and it became prevalent enough that you could literally take some of his uh, tracks from any of his videos and overlay them over another, and you wouldn't notice the difference. And that sounds like I'm being mean or sarcastic or something like that, but Red Spray actually did that. So... Yeah. I feel like this is supposed to be the Confusion Gate. I Are get... you confused on that matter? No, it's just that it feels like the Confusion Gate. And it might just be me looking at the background where it's got kind of weird backgrounds and things like that. And yeah, I know that it spins, I'm just... I didn't realize exactly how it worked because I thought it was based on something else. But now I get how it works. Call Yuga. Oh, that's a sphinx there. <laughs> hey! I found a secret because I wanted to look at the statue in the background. Which is also kind of important in this game. More so than it was in one. Ostrich dinosaur birds. Oh. Also, I'm not gonna lie, now I'm just imagining that's a xenomorph going off those wall murals. What was that? Where hatred begotten slumbers heat.
I like the Minotaur's reaction time. I think I'm being hit in the back of the head with a chain. <laughs> Wait, really? Defeat the eleven children, the cog will reawaken this lawn. So that's the second place we've seen that cog show up. And that dolphin over there showed up in the twin labyrinth in the first game. So I wonder if that's a... I heard the way to go next. No, we sure as hell aren't going to the twin labyrinth. We can't even get there anymore. And I think that's probably supposed to be Echidna right there. Or Delphine. That does look a little painful. Spine for a tail. Yeah, that, that little ring right there when I jumped into this room. That's what the uh, guild thing does, Zero. Lord of Beast, it's time. Oh, hello there. I'm also a little worried that that double axe Minotaur can just smack you through the board. Nah. Wait, the Navian lion had a horn? I thought it didn't. I thought they were just, they look like lions with a uh, mane of gold, or a uh, fur of gold. See, there's the hidden... Porphyrian. I think the most interesting part about this is that we found the backside for... well... I keep calling it the backside, but I don't... I think this dungeon has the backside like, uh, Lama Lana the dungeon had. Well, the ruins, anyway. I shouldn't call them dungeons, because it wasn't a dungeon. Why is there spikes up there? What's well, looking like it? Thinking you're gonna hit more things than you actually are whenever you try to jump over enemies. Well, <laughs> you're at a s um. Why does that name sound familiar? I have no idea what I'm going to do. Several characters in Greek mythology. That's a pretty long list. King Eretus, Eretus and Sitiatus, Eretus or Eretus, son of Hermes. There's the Eretus that's killed by Hercules. Do me a favor. Look up that one. Look up um, Fire, the one I just found. Because I get the feeling we're seeing a bunch of Hercules' trials here. We oh got... yeah, take me follow you. Okay, 
It was a myth myth big in Greek mythology. Child born to Orthrus, which was a hellhound and echidna of the Gigas, she gained the ability to meld minds with the wild boar. Alright then. So we're just getting info on all the Oh, uh, you know what? This is like time, it's um, quarter of time. Remember I was talking about how one of the dungeon or one of the uh, areas in one had um, the back side was the front side and vice versa? Ish. Yeah, that was time and stuff. She was the most powerful of mother's children and could actually pull the front and back side around. Let's go heal up. I'm gonna buy some more weights. I'm gonna eventually find a place that sells spears and max out on those because I still think they're probably the best all around weapon, especially since I found out you can. Um, especially since you found out you. Since you can throw them uh, further. Yeah, well, you can throw them further or shorter by holding up or down when you throw them. Oh, that's pretty good. Huh. We can go to Ancient Chaos even though I didn't hit any shrine points or anything there. That's actually kind of interesting. Like, non sarcastic or anything like that. I'm kind of curious why. Alright, also, you know what? Once again, I just I want to know what the hell that's supposed to be. What do you mean the corn? What's the corn actually called? No clue, but it does not sound out of reason for being a mythology thing. Oh, that's supposed to be our Akshasa? Like what? Carbunko is like an ear cord that's spread of legs and equipment having extremely tough bodies. And apparently there's gold in them. I wonder if that's a uh, Aztec myth or something then. I mean, where else would you have corn? That's what I'm saying, I'm like guessing something American, like either north or south. Let's head down through the corridor of blood here. So the Americans would just sell it corn. And back in here. I just determined I'm not gonna bother fighting the that the ice ladies anymore unless I have to. Probably not the worst of ideas. and I solved the puzzle. Alright then. Then didn't even quite fully realize you could push the other one. Yeah, I pushed it earlier. 
Well, I'm getting that, it's got me stuck, so I'm gonna have to once again wander up to the Tower of Blood. I really want double jump, because I could have just jumped out of there if I'd had it. But that involves finding the feather for the birds. Or, um, oh, the rock feather in one? I mean, it's not like it takes long to get over there anymore, but. So, welcome new viewers. Not a lot of few new viewers either. I know my laptop updates slow, uh, slow when I'm looking at it. Oh, you can't look at that mural back there. And since we're done in here, that's. Not what I expected to find when I come down here. Don't kill me. Don't don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's. Ouch. All right. So uh, I have a uh, pain there. Doesn't like me shooting at the. Bit off near. Haven't I already killed Vidofnir? I think you have, yeah. I think that's the first bot the first area boss, right? Uh first or second. Okay, there's that. So I've got a shortcut now. Uh Ice Physics, please! Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. I don't know. I couldn't use Blaster Master physics where jumping fixes your sliding. So creative jumping allows you to bypass a lot of the garbage. Uh, you're gonna have midway through there. I'm talking to myself, don't worry about it. Slowly going insane. Sounds about right. That's your burgle mirror. And away he goes. Did, did the pillar flicker or am I imagining things? Okay, it just seems to change colors a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> Did you go to push? Yes. I don't think there was that many clues on that one. I am tempted to just start clipping every such moment. At La Milana, we don't have enough time for that. I mean, it just means we could make a feature-length movie out of it. Now you're a funny one, I'd like to see you do better. <laughs> have you do a blind playthrough of just one and see how far you get before you get squished by a statue or something? As a challenge, so I shall not take. I thought so. I can't believe that was the solution to that boss, is just pushing those stupid pillars. So, we're gonna do two things here. So I don't feel like redoing all of this again. Activate that. Activate that. Steal all his pocket change. And let's go. I need to backside up, so. Try 
Turn the cross giants. Oops, hey. Probably shouldn't be looking at uh Twitch alerts while yeah, I was looking at Twitch alerts too. Popped up a big red alert thing there, so I was like, ah, I didn't do something wrong, did I? Yes, Twitch alerts, those, um, things that I I don't think it was an alert, but I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Jarrah returns quickly. Ice physics can bite me! Eyeball in here? There is. So, you know what that time that means? It means get the hell out of here. It's a dead end there. You see, it seems to reliably drop pocket change. Especially since I need $300 for a. Uh, which will take quite a while. Nah, I don't think it's... Ah, God. Have I mentioned I hate this game's ice physics? I, I, ima I imagine you cannot wait to be done with this area. Can I have the boots from the first game that let me just, like, ignore the sand physics and crap? I think they let you ignore the garbage, uh... Ice physics, too. Part of I just want that. Part I of just want that. The end item would work on the ice physics. But go on. So part of the problem is that part of the problem is that you maintain your momentum while you're jumping, which means that when you've got this super twitchy air control, it's very easy to suddenly jerk the wrong way and go like eight million miles in the wrong direction, kind of thing. Feels so horrible. The sacred cows in India, if I remember right, or at least the name of the breed. Something of the sort. And I know that because, uh, name of the two headed cows, Brahma, and Fallout apparently right. pissed a bunch of people off. And they still stuck to it. I had to try. So, I need the power of fire for that, I bet you. And that's how you cut through all that. So, I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick. All that heal, I'm gonna do that. I'll say hi, dude. The question is, where do we go from here? Space. No, that was the giant's job, not ours. 
Ah, oh, further down then. Well, we do have to go visit Hell at one point in this game. I mean, this game seems to have plenty of Hells. Take that as you will. Could be worse. The original game had the Hell Temple, which, um... Had the best prize possible. Go on. Well, it is like a ten-year-old game. I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about spoiling it. Um, it put Lameza in a string bikini. Because you unlock it and you think it's going to get stuck on Mulbrook or something like that, and Lameza just slaps it right on with not a care in the world. I did not, not quite get to catch what he actually got put in. I think you said straight jacket. Nope, I said string bikini. I have no idea where you heard straight jacket from. I just heard STR and then you've got out and then you talked over the bit where the steam caught up to what you actually said. Well, well. That's probably why you shouldn't be listening to both the stream and uh, chat, but hey. I'm on the jacket. Besides, if you got out, I couldn't hear. I would never have heard it anyway. Danger! Poison in the area! Thanks, guys. Good job on the early warning system. Yeah, see, isn't that almost the same shit of uh, lava as the other place? I'm not going crazy, right? Uh, it has the same shade. Feel like the other one had a bit of a darker surface line, but so we unlock more of the shrine of the frost giants. I feel like this should do something. I mean, a platform in the middle feels like it should be there for something. Okay, so that just hurts a lot. I mean, yeah, I know it looks like a giant sword, and probably is a giant sword, and... Might be sharp, but... No, you know. To be fair, in this game, like... Rubbing your face and everything is a valid, uh... Method of exploration. Yeah. Good news is, I don't have to worry about, uh... Going back up to the surface yet. So where do we 
need to go then. We're back to that point where I just I'm not sure where we can actually go. Should have been making. I, I wish you could mark on the maps, like just make a yeah. X on a map where you want to remember something or something like that. Or plan a little flag on the map. Same idea. Just because I'd mark all the sigil rooms. Oh, that giant rock from the beginning of the game I actually did have something behind it, by the way. Did that giant arc from the beginning of the game up behind it? Uh, the plant key. Um. Hey, look what I just found. Is this shiny? So, how do I use an intro then? Oh, that's what I'm hitting. Oops. Alright. Where do we want to go? We've got a mantra now. You know what? I don't think I've got the Jed Tower, though. Dead Tower? Dead Tower? Jet key, uh, key. Yeah, I don't think I've got the the other item I need to do this one yet.
Oh yeah, the uh, spear is definitely great now. Because you can throw it down, straight down like it was in one, or you can check it around. You can reach all the places. So, do we know what this actually does is the real question. I wonder if it actually involves dying at the will of Dharma. Is that supposed to be the will of Dharma? Yeah, I thought they mentioned it. Doesn't look like it. So, did you get to do anything with the giant cup yet? Nope. And there's a red uh, eye up there, so I'm pretty sure smacking that's gonna hurt me. The lightning, alright. Especially since you just accidentally hit the front bone spear. No, I hate the Valkyrie enemies, they aren't fun to fight. They dart away as soon as you get anywhere near them.
There's a secret store in here somewhere. Yeah, so I do need a gent pillar. I can't do any uh, chanting without it, I think. You can't do any what? Chanting. Uh, clearly you just need more vocal practice, don't worry about it. That was one loud jack jack. Yeah, it's kind of a cheap chair. I mean, hey, as long as it's comfortable, of course, but... See, when I was playing this alone, I kept, I, in one, I kept a lot more notes as part of the issue, I think. In this one, I, I'm kind of streaming, I'm just like talking and bullshitting the entire time. I mean, I also feel like you might worry a little bit too much about boring people with them. Yeah, well, I don't feel like spending two hours just wandering around blind just for no progress. I think it's bad, bad form. So, speaking of that, Smite apparently got a new one you might find interesting. Did they finally put Jesus in? Close enough, question mark. Parents are Medi. Hey, 
Nice, medic's awesome. Exactly. No, I know they're never gonna put the Old Testament gods in, or uh, angels and demons and everything in, even though that would be kind of interesting. People are too sensitive. I don't even think anybody can identify Michael if you put Michael in as like the otherworldly horror that angels are supposed to be. I mean, it would. I suppose it would also be a bit amusing to just see Cain uh, walking out with a knife, trying to stab people. I mean, you could do like. You could easily do something like Michael, and um, I'm really having a hard time remembering uh, the Pantheon of Angels. And then as a counterpoint, Lucifer, but I'll... I'll oh, that's, that's the Ars Go... Well, that's Beelzebub. Um, that's the Ars Go which is where my name is from, and that's not necessarily Christian. Since, like, Neveros is a bastard, supposedly, or not supposedly, potentially a bastardization of Cerberus. Then again, Christianity is like to take stuff from other cultures as well, just to try and demonize them. Take Campus, for example. Okay, no, they didn't even bastardize us, they just invented Campus to scare the children. Well, you've talked about the kind of beer you guys serve, so I don't think you would need Krampus to scare your children. We do what now? You were talking about piss water the other day. Yeah, but piss water, that, uh, that's not even the worst of the beers we have. Well, I can go... You know what, we're gonna do that. Let's go see what fairy I get. So I need to go to Valhalla. That was up here, right? Was it, uh... I don't know, but if they did more damage, the foreign enemies still seem like the most dangerous. Nah, they're... They do, like, no damage whatsoever. Yeah, come on. You should try, uh, level on a one blind. It'll be great. It was this way that the cellar was, right? Like, I... Don't think I put this in my head wrong? Mm, seems to be like I don't even quite know what place is named what all the time. Ah, oh, that was only like half an hour ago. I guess that's what happens when you spend, like, a lot of time trying to sort your brain out. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. I could have saved myself a little bit of a trip, but not much of one. did not cling to the pillar like I was supposed to, I just went straight through it.
There's the weapon fairy. I'm still disturbed by that painting. Oh, yeah, they made her a lot better than she was in one. See, just insta killed things, huh? Yeah, she's just gonna, like, charge us around and murders everything. She also has gorgeous against bases, bosses. She's just super aggressive, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Anwen here. Does anybody have any idea how to actually say this place other than calling it Anwen? Just kind of like darting around and ruining everybody's day and... See what happens if you take her here. Oh. oh, she actually needed two hits to kill the water ball. Yeah, she seems to do one hit per... about like one damage per hit um, per like hit sound that you hear. So that had the Grapple Claw. Mortal Battlefield had... Well, it had the Spear and it had the Dash item. And when... Uh, what the hell does Anwen have? We've pretty much cleared as much as we can of this out for the time being, I think. Uh, Ritzy Drazil's still got stuff in it, but nothing we can do yet new there. Um, we're still missing double jump to do anything there. Let's go back to the Hollow Malice. She stick around for. Oh, not that long. All right then. Just had to jinx it. That's a valid question. Still, so now you at least know to take her for uh, for boss fights. Is this an enemy stand? Sorry. Kinda looks like one that- it kinda looks like, um, not Volnerf, uh... Firebird dude's stand user. Why can't I remember his name? Uh, that's Magician? Yeah. Not sure about the wielder's name, but... Oh, you know what? Look what I just found. 
add as a pyramid. Me did already find a white mechanisms. Okay, so that's not how you get in there. However, also, they look like the French things. Also, the cow's called Abdul. Abdul. Abdul, yeah. Reminds me of his stand, though. Oh my god, anime nerds! Little magician. So, I just realized that the figure inside of the pyramid crystal thing is in one of the, um... Yeah, see, these enemies are aggravating that do that. I really do need to get a good shield. You know what? I don't think it's that, but... Yeah, it's not. See, see, that says it's a Yggdrasil gate. It's just not open yet. I don't know if that means that all of those are actually called Yggdrasil gates, and I've just never bothered to look at them before. Or if that one actually leads back to the Yggdrasil tree. get down below there. See, and that's the interesting part, is it's playing the tone that lets you know that there's a secret room in here, or a secret shop in here. Which I originally thought had been the thing up top right, but apparently that wasn't it. This is a new area. Alright. What is a chimera? There's a fight in here. It's 
so we're probably gonna have to fight the squirrel again. Can we just hire a pair of Russians to incompetently stagger after him instead of dealing with him? Well, I've just hired them to be monkeys and die, die by this. No. I was more thinking of, uh. Rock and Bullwinkle bad jokes, but. Feels like there's supposed to be more here in the Hall of Alice too. That's the part, the part of the weirdest part about it. Sounds like there should be more malice. Oh, that was terrible. Honey. See right there? That's a ladder spot. That's under all right. can't do anything there. I want to go back. Surely that's a hole you can go through. Did we lose Ancient Chaos? Yes we did. So we want to go back to Valhalla for now. pieces I need to solve all this. Down one and to the right, which is not going to let us do it from here. I've got like most of the. Uh, Necessary runes to get in there too, that's the aggravating part. I know there's nothing to the right, so yeah, we're just gonna go back up the tunnel of blood. Maybe there's somewhere else we can get to. Honestly, if this ends up being a dead end, I'm just going to call it for the night. It is getting kind of late anyway. And I actually have to go back to work tomorrow, so... So you probably should be getting back into a sleep schedule when I make it. Yeah, 
kind of. Close enough. I mean, I could take the morrow off too if I wanted to. I've already been told I could, but. I'm not getting the distance that I normally get on these. That's a letter. That does not look like a letter. Oh, I'm curious. You mean a little? Huh. So the spines are ladders. So the real question is, what else have been ladders all this time? Also, can you land on those wings? Oh. A dangerous pitfall, fall and off a rod. Alright. So these tubes right here were also in the Shrine of the Mother, so I think, or the Tower of the Mother. Oh, well, Tower of the Mother was kind of interesting in that it had TV screens and things, too. I don't think I can get through the tubes. I think I actually have to go through the tubes. Even though it looks kind of like there's a gap there that I can jump into. Yep. So this right here is the other thing. Oops. If you look at the symbol inside of the pyramid on the uh, screen there, it's kind of similar to that. I, I'm starting to half wonder if that symbol is meant to be the bee god. Ghost name. There's one thing I haven't done. No. Oh. That's a boss statue, just like some of the others that we've already been grabbing things well, out of. Well, the giant carvers. Mm-hmm. 
Probably don't need to do this, but... There's no reason not to. Oh, I say that and it didn't actually let me do it anyway, so... And that's right, so that's the bottom of it. Alright, we're just gonna head back. I'm gonna call it for the night. Um, as usual, I'll probably do some off-screen stuff, just kind of like poking around and seeing if I can find what I'm missing. I will be back in the morning, though. So, uh, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for showing up, and hope you had fun.